Man, I look so tired. It's probably because I'm really tired. So, where do you guys think I am today? If you guessed Disney World, you would be wrong. However, if you guessed the practice rooms in the music school, you would be correct. Woohoo! I, I doubt any of you were correct, no offense. Maybe if I did this, it would help. See, look, it's a piano. Oh, and for those of you who wanted to see what my new computer looks like, there it is. I mean, it looks like a computer. However, I, can you see, like, how, you probably can't tell, but it's really bumpy and cool. Like, I like the texture of it. It's pretty awesome. I like recording like this. It's kind of fun. I'm up in this building for a lot of reasons. Reasons which include practicing my voice music, practicing playing the piano parts for the songs that I'm using for my voice student, composing a film score for my music for film class, practicing conducting for my quiz tomorrow, and those are among the many reasons why my video is late, but Sean's was too, so it's okay. Again, mighty. And now I'm gonna go black and white and talk about the good old days. Whenever I think about the good old days, I always think about the grandpa from Rugrats who would always say things like, Back in my day, we used to walk 15 miles to the nearest whatever. And it was always 15 miles. Did you ever notice that? Never varied from 15 miles, ever. Which is why it was really funny to me, that episode when they were in the car and were singing Erie Canal. Because everyone was like, I've got a mule, her name is Sal. And then the grandpa stands up and goes, 15 miles on the Erie Canal. Okay, well, I thought it was funny. Sometimes I try and think about what the heck I did with myself in my free time before I could drive. I mean, I didn't have a lot of free time because I was always doing musicals and piano lessons and all this other stuff. But, like, did I just sit at home? Like, what did I do? I guess I went over to my friend's house who lives like two houses away. I guess that's what I did. But I did love some Nintendo 64 and I still love some Nintendo 64 because I brought it to school with me. And my friend Christopher and I play Banjo-Kazooie <laughs> because... Well, that was my birthday present for him. I have two brothers, but I was the first one in my family to get any sort of gaming system. I got an in I got a 64 for my birthday like a really long time ago, and I got Super Mario 64, which is probably the greatest game ever. Tied with Zelda, Ocarina of Time, which I still haven't beaten, but I will someday. I'm trying again. I finally beat Queen Gomo, which I was unable to do at the age of 10. <laughs> Ew. And I also remember how cool it was that my friend had a Walkman, like where you put a tape in and, you know, close it and wear those gigantic headphones and then you can walk around and listen to music at the same time. It was so cool. And I remember the first time I got a VCR in my room. That was huge. Beanie Babies? I have probably like 300 of them still floating around my house somewhere. Literally floating, like up in the air. They fly. Up. No, no, not really. I just wanted to make fun of myself for saying floating. I remember when the computer was in our living room, so anytime I wanted to talk to my friends, my mom would always be coming behind me and trying to read what I was writing, and it drove me crazy. And we all shared the same account, and I remember I was begging her to make my own screen name, and I just wanted it so bad because my friends had their own, and I remember the day she was like, Kaylin, you can go make your own screen name. I was like, <gasps> wow, really? Really? Ah! It was so cool. My first screen name ever was Anno Schwa 12. Anno for piano, schwa, because it's a cool word, and 12 because I was 12. That still might be my favorite screen name I've ever had. <laughs> you know, if you were watching this video in high quality, you could watch me pick my nose in high quality. Oh my god, oh my god. In other news, last weekend my brother and I went to an Eagles concert. Ah! It was so good. They're so old, and they still have all their crazy high notes and their crazy tight harmonies, and Joe Walsh is such a dirty old man. There's nothing like the feeling you get when you realize they're playing the intro to Hotel California, and you're like, oh my god, Hotel California Live! Ah! It was a great show. They played for like three and a half hours, and it didn't feel like it. <laughs> it went by so fast. And I really appreciate everyone's um, expressions of sympathy. Um, they've been giving me over the past week, like, through comments or, um, and Matt and Nathan for mentioning it in your video. 
I'm doing a lot better. You know, it's it's never going to be easy or, you know, feel normal again, but, you know, other than that, uh, Matt, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. So, you want to hear me belt? I've always been shy. I confess that I'm shy. That's enough of that.